In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to share files in Google Drive on Android. So, if you have files and Google Docs and Google Sheets and other things like that in your Google Drive, you can actually share those files with other people so that they can access them and even edit them if you allow them to on their device. And in a previous video, which will be linked to in the description down below, Timmy shows you how you can do all this on the Google Drive website on your computer. But in this video, Timmy's going to show you how to share files in Google Drive on the Google Drive app on an Android device, so an Android phone or an Android tablet. So to do that, you'll just need to open up the Google Drive app. It should be automatically installed on your phone somewhere. But if it's not, just go into the Play Store and search for Google Drive and it'll be the top option that comes up and you can install that. But then once you're in here, you'll need to tap on the three dots next to the file that you want to share. So if you want to share this file here that's called Cool Guy Picture, you would just tap on the three dots here. And now in this little menu that pops up here, tap on Share. So now you'll need to enter the person who you want to share the file with. So if this person is already in your contacts, you can just start typing their name and they should pop up here. Or if they're not in your contacts, you'll just need to enter in their Google email address. So that will probably be their Gmail address. If they have an email address that's something like their name at gmail.com, that'll most likely be it. Or it could actually be a different address as long as that address is associated with their Google account. But Timmy's going to put in the Gmail address of the person Timmy wants to share the file with. And when you start typing, it might come up. But if it doesn't, you can just type the whole thing. But Timmy will just tap on that because it's come up. And you can enter multiple people in here if you want. But that's not really necessary. If you only want to share it with one person, you can just leave one person in there. And now below this email address, it says editor. And that means that this person will be able to edit the file. And because this file is just a picture, there's not really much they'll be able to do to it. They could maybe rename it or possibly delete it or something, but they don't have any tools inside Google Drive to edit the picture. So being an editor here is not really relevant. But if you were sharing a Google Doc or a Google Sheet or something like that with them, they would actually be able to go in and edit the entire Google Doc. They could add text, delete text, do literally anything they wanted with it. But if you don't want them to be able to edit the file and you just want them to be able to view it, you can tap on editor here. And now you can choose between editor, commenter and viewer. So viewer is probably the one you're going to want to choose if you don't want them to be able to edit it because they'll just be able to view the file on their phone or their computer. And they will also have the option to download it from Google Drive. And technically, once they've downloaded it, they could edit it if they wanted to, but they can't make any changes to the file that's actually on Google Drive. So your file cannot be affected. So if you want to do that, you can tap on viewer and now they'll be made a viewer. And commenter is basically just a viewer, but they can also leave comments on the file. So if you're sending the file to someone and you're wanting their feedback on it, you could choose commenter, but to me, imagines you're probably not going to want to choose commenter very often. And now once you've sorted that out, the only other thing you might want to do is add a message. So if you tap in here, you can type a short message to the person you're sharing the file with. So maybe you want to just say, hey, here's that file I'm sending you, or this is a file, or would you mind leaving a comment on this file so I know about it? So it's just a message if you want to explain why you've shared the file with someone. To me, it's not going to bother entering a message and you don't have to either. But if you want to, you can. And then once you've finished all that and you're happy with everything, you can just tap on this little airplane icon here and it will send it. And now the file is shared. So now you can see on the file here, there's this little icon of people and that means it's shared. And now the file is shared with them. So now the person who you've shared the file with will be notified that you've shared a file with them. They'll get an email and a Google Drive app notification if they have those enabled. So they'll know you shared a file with them and they can open it and view it and edit it if you've made them an editor. 
and that's all there is to it. And if you ever want to unshare the file with them so that they'll no longer have access to it, you can do that quite easily too. You just tap on the three dots next to the file again, and this time tap on Manage People and Links. And now you'll see two people here, Timmy's demo account, which is the owner, so that's you, and Tech Time with Timmy, which is the person we shared it with. So if you tap on the person you shared it with, and you tap remove here, they will now be removed from the file and they'll no longer be able to access it. They will still have it if they've downloaded it to their computer and there's nothing you could do about that, but now they can no longer access the file on Google Drive. So that's really cool and that's really all there is to it. And you can do the same thing with Google Docs and things if you want. You just tap on the three dots and tap on share and do the same thing. So you type in their email address and you choose whether you want them to be an editor. And this is important for a Google Doc because if they're an editor, they will be able to change any of the text in the Google Doc. But Timmy's going to allow that. And Timmy's not going to enter a message. Timmy's just going to tap send. And now it will share that Google Doc with them. And so that's all there is to it. And that's really cool. But the only downside to this method is that you do have to know the person's Google email address. So not necessarily their Gmail address, but you have to know what email address is associated with their account. And if you've been emailing them via a different address, or maybe you've been texting them or communicating with them on social media or something, you might not know that address. But if you want, there's actually a special way that you can copy this special kind of link and then you can send that link to them any way you want, whether it be email or SMS or social media or anything like that. And then anyone who taps or clicks on that link will be able to access that file. And Timmy shows you how you can do that in this video right here.